Hi everyone. Welcome to another live with Singer Sewing. I'm so excited to have you all here. I am going to give everyone just a minute to jump on. Um, but for those who don't know me, my name is Bethany. I'm an educator with Singing Sewing. Singer Sewing. Why am I saying that weird? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. My name is Bethany and I work for Singer Sewing Company. There we go. I'm having a tongue twister kind of day, um, but that's okay. Um, welcome to our live stream. I just want to say hello to everyone. Now, I, as you can see, I went ahead and decorated for the holidays in my studio. Um, so I'm curious, and while we let, let everybody jump on, um, let me know in the chat if you have already decorated for the holidays, have gotten started, or waiting till after Thanksgiving, or if you just don't choose to decorate at all. There's no wrong answer, but let's just get the chat warmed up. Um, I will tell you that this is the only space in my house that I have decorated for the holidays because I'm already working on uh, content for the holidays. So that's partially the reason why I have pulled this out a little early, uh, but the rest of my house is still in the full fall theme. Um, so anyways, I just wanna say hello to everyone and welcome you to our live for this month, the month of November. Um, don't be confused by my very December backdrop. Um, but we are so excited to have you today. And this live is actually going to be a pretty quick one because our project of the month is a very quick and easy project. Um, I'm really excited to show you this one. I've been making these for a few years now, uh, just for fun or for gifts. Um, but I think you all are going to really love this. So if you haven't seen our project of the month, it is a faux leather luggage tag. Super cute, super easy sew up, great for gifts or little stocking stuffers, um, and perfect time to have one of these for travel season. Like before Thanksgiving, you need one of these because you're going to be traveling for the holidays or for Thanksgiving to see friends and family. And this is a great way to add a little pop of color to your luggage. You can identify your bag from all the others um, and make sure that you no one else takes your bag as well. So I'm going to show you a couple that I've already made. This is the one that's in the tutorial. Super cute. This one has a snap enclosure at the top. It's twisted. There we go. Um, and then I made another one today just for a little trial run, you know, um, these little puppy dogs. I love faux, I love working with faux leather. I did this one with a snap as well. Um, in the instructions, I show you how to um, also make it with like a hook clasp for some, and a D ring for something different if you don't want to do snaps. Snaps are very inexpensive uh, and easy and a lot of people have those kind of laying around. So if you don't have the hook, you can use snaps. You could even use Velcro. There's a lot of different options for closing up your luggage tag with the strap. But this is what we're going to make today. So I'm excited to show this to you because it's a different kind of material that a lot of people don't sew with very often, but you can do a lot of fun things with it. Um, so we're using faux leather. We're also using a clear vinyl. I don't know if you guys can see, there's kind of a glare on that. There is a clear protective sheet here. So when you slide your little paper down in here that you fill out with your information, that it's protected from the elements. So your bag ends up outside waiting to get on the plane <laughs> and it's raining your identification is still kept safe. So that's what we're gonna make today. Hi, hello everybody, I'm checking the chat. There's some people jumping on, as I mentioned, I've already decorated for the holidays in my studio, um, but I'm curious, let me know if you guys have already started decorating for the holidays or if you're one of those that waits till after Thanksgiving. I will definitely be waiting till the week of Thanksgiving, um, but that's just me, hello, hello. We are Christmas decorating in the middle of preparing for a hurricane. Oh my goodness. Well, stay safe. I used to live in Florida. Um, so I've been through a few of those and they're not fun. So please stay safe. Hello from Ohio. Hi, everybody. Thanks for jumping on. Now, if you didn't know, we do projects every month. Every month. I create a project for singer.com um, that you can find on our website under inspirations under uh, free projects. And there are so many different types of projects on there. If you've never checked them out, definitely hop over to our website after our live and download a few. They're, they're PDFs. They come with step-by-step -step instructions, a supply list, and photos to walk you through the whole project. We have very beginner-friendly projects. We have some more advanced projects. It kind of 
goes all over. Um, and then a lot of different types of techniques and sewing materials and tips and tricks. So, you know, even if you're a more advanced sewist, you've been doing it for a long time, there might be something in there that you've never tried before and you want to learn. And some of these projects could help you out with that. So be sure to check them out. They're so much fun. And I put a lot of um, time and effort into creating these for you guys. So I love seeing when you all tag us, all of your finished projects and how you take the projects I create for you and just make them better um, and get real creative with it. So this is what we're making today. Now in this tutorial, um, there are at the very end, there is a page that comes with a template to cut out your faux leather. Um, so be sure you print this off and you can size this to whatever size you want your tag luggage tag to be. Um, I think mine is around four inches across, so it's a good size, but not too big. Um, and then the last page is um, blank inserts that you can cut out and fill out for inserting inside of your luggage tags. There's some extras in there. Um, but yeah, so I give you everything you need other than the faux leather and vinyl to make this project. Oh, uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. All right. So I thought today, normally when I jump on these lives, I just kind of give you tips and tricks of how to do parts of the project. But today, this is a very quick project. So let's just sew one up together so you can see just how quick and easy it is. And then I know that you guys will be looking forward to doing these on your own. Um, yeah. Actually, uh, Norma, your question about the Singer Legacy Sewing Embroidery Machine, um, that is actually something that we were talking about this morning in one of my meetings about incorporating in next month's um, project. So stay tuned. I hear you. Trust me, I want to do more of that too. Um, so I'm going to be working some of that in here in the near future. So stay tuned for that. But that was a great question. And I appreciate you letting us have that feed, know that feedback about what you want to see, because we want to make sure that we're giving you the content that is benefiting you all as well. All right. So let's hop on over here to my table and I'll let you have a little closer look at this project of the month. These adorable faux leather. I should probably cut this a little bigger so it sits straight, but that's okay. Um, so these are the faux leather ones that I picked out. You can get faux leather at a lot of different places. You can get solids. Um, you can get fun prints like I have here today. You can also make this with other materials. It doesn't have to be faux leather. You could actually use real leather. Um, you could use some different vinyls if you want. Uh, you could even use like a denim or um, upholstery fabric that's really heavy and stiff. You definitely want something that's got structure to it. Uh, but yeah, definitely stick with something that's um, going to hold its shape, okay? And just so you know, I went ahead and cut one out that we're going to make today. So let me slide those off to the side. Um, once you cut them out, you're going to have your back piece, your front piece, a clear piece of vinyl, which I've already cut out and clipped onto this one just to save time. But you can see the clear sheet here. You want it to be bigger, obviously, than the square cutout. And then you're going to have your strap. Now, one of the reasons why I love working with faux leather, especially good quality faux leather, and you want one that doesn't have stretch, okay? Stretchy faux leather can be difficult when trying to sew it together. So get one that doesn't have stretch. And when I, one of the things I love about faux leather is the underside is really durable and it's not going to, like the edges are not gonna get funky or anything. Like if you were to make this with like actual leather, there's um, a bomb or paste that you have to put on the edges of the leather where it's been cut to seal it um, so it doesn't dry out. There's a lot of other extra things that you would probably need to do. So I recommend making these with faux leather so they can take a little bit of a beating uh, when you travel. These are also really good to put on like kids' backpacks too um, so they don't get lost at school. All right, so let's let's start with making one. And as we go through the process, I'll tell you all the fun stuff that you need to have a successful project, okay? Um, so as you see here, this is my front piece that I was cut out. And, um, you know, the back side here is where I have clipped my uh, clear vinyl onto it. Now, the clear vinyl I also picked up at one of my local fabric stores. 
Um, usually comes on a big bolt and I just got a big piece of it. And like I said, I've made a lot of these. Uh, and this vinyl is really fun to do other stuff with. So I definitely have used a lot of it. So now that I've got it clipped on, I'm gonna go over to the sewing machine and show you what I'm sewing on today. So today I am sewing on the Singer Heavy Duty 6800C. And you'll see a different colored foot on here. I'll pop it off real quick so you guys can see it up close. This is a non-stick foot. If you've been around for a couple of my other lives, you know that I have used the non-stick foot a couple of times. This is perfect for sewing with faux leather, leather, vinyl. It has a very smooth um, surface on the bottom. It has a nice groove for your stitches to be able to slide out to the back. Um, it's got a nice high arch in the front if you're sewing with anything with bulkiness. Um, and it's definitely making this pro project a whole lot easier. And I will tell you that the nonstick presser foot right now is 25% off on our website in the US. So definitely go check that out. Uh, and if you don't have one, you definitely need to add it to your uh, um, repertoire of things that you need in your machine. Now, if you don't have a nonstick foot and you want to go ahead and make this project, you could attempt to do this with um, the decorative, uh, clear decorative open toe foot. It does have these nice metal um, slides here and a nice groove in the middle. This is a great foot for like applique and doing satin stitches. Um, but I can't guarantee, especially if you try to use like real leather, that it's not going to leave a mark on your leather. That's why I prefer the nonstick foot. But if you don't have that and you have this, you can give it a try with this. Just test it out on some scrap fabric first to make sure um, scrap material first before you start sewing your project up. Okay. All right. So let's get to stitching. I am using just a regular all purpose thread today. And I have got my machine set to a straight stitch at 2.5 millimeter stitch length. And something else I want to mention that sometimes people forget about is the needle. Um, for this project, you are going to want to use the right kind of needle or else you're going to run into some issues. So we are sewing a heavier material. And because we're sewing a heavier material, we want to make sure we're set up for success. With this one, I am using a denim needle because it's a faux leather. Uh, and it's thick and I'm sewing through faux leather and vinyl at the same time. Um, and when we put the back and the front together, it'll be multiple layers. So you'll definitely wanna make sure you have a heavy duty denim or even a leather needle. If you're sewing this project with real leather, definitely use a, a leather needle, okay? So now that we're set up with all the supplies we need, the right needle, the right foot, we're ready to go. Let's get to stitching. Now for this part, you can really start wherever you like. I am going to just start right here. And like I said, I'm just doing a straight stitch all the way around. I am trying to keep my stitch not right at this edge, but just off of this edge. Um, just a hair, not a whole lot. Uh, so it's really just kind of eyeballing this to get all the way around. I just want to make sure I stay in a straight line because um, this stitch is going to be visible from the front. Let me find my foot control. Here we go and do a couple back stitches. There we go. And when I get to this corner, I want to take it nice and slow. And this is sometimes when I use my hand wheel instead of my foot control so it doesn't get away from me. And I'm going to go right to the edge here. I'm going to leave my needle in the down position, leave my foot, lift my foot, pivot my material and lower my foot back down and keep stitching. This way I have a nice square corner. And you'll see I chose to use clips for this. It's really hard to get a needle to hold this down. So this is where those uh, clips, quilting clips and, and garment clips come in handy. go and we're going to lift and pivot. I'm going to one more side and one more turn and then we'll be done. 
Like I said, this is a very quick project. So we'll be done with the front part. And you'll see I'm keeping my hand on top of the project. Normally I don't do that with fabric. I kind of let it move on its own, but I want to hold my vinyl nice and flat to my leather so it doesn't cause my leather to wave. There we go. And we're gonna come right back to here. Back stitch and we're good to go. All right, let's go back over here real quick. And I'm going to trim my threads. If you find it easier to cut your vinyl piece even bigger to have a little more wiggle room, you can. This one I kind of cut a little close. Because when you're done, if it hangs over the edge here, you just take your scissors and you just trim it. And you want to make sure you don't trim your front faux leather. You don't want to cut that. So I'm just going to go around and make sure none of my edges are sticking out. And you also want to make sure you don't cut your stitches there. All right, so this is it stitched around the front. Um, this is an opportunity where you can choose a matching thread, a contrasting thread. You know, my white thread on this one, you don't really notice as much. Um, for this one, I chose to go with a pink, so it kind of stood out a little bit. This one I'm doing white again because there's so many different colors here, but I think it works. All right, so now that I have this stitched on, and that was super easy with that nonstick foot, I'm gonna take my back piece and put them wrong sides together. And there's a little hole that, or square that you cut out, rectangle you cut out um, for the strap. And you wanna make sure that you line it up there first. And this is where we're gonna use our clips again. And we're gonna clip this together really well, just lining up our edges all the way around. There we go. All right, so when I flip this over to the front, I can see that this is still lined up really well, and we're gonna just continue to clip all the way around to hold it together. Because vinyl can slip and slide on you, so you definitely wanna take the time to clip it together. If it does get a little off, which it kind of has here, that's okay. I'd rather it be flat. My vinyl had a little curve into it, so it's pulling on my faux leather a little bit, which happens. Um, so try to make sure you keep your vinyl nice and straight. But we can adjust our edges a little bit. I'm just going to keep clipping. Can't have too many. I go through these clips like crazy. All right, so this is what I have now. It's all clipped together, super, super easy, front and back. Now, the next step is gonna be to do that same straight stitch, but instead of going all the way around, because we don't wanna sew the top closed, that's how we get our little info sheet inside, is through the top, okay? So we don't wanna sew this part. I start at this right corner where um, I had this corner of my stitch. I start here. Can you guys see that? Sorry, I get a little off from the camera sometimes. I start right here and I sew all the way along the edge, all the way around to this corner. I do not sew any of this top part because I need to have access to that. Okay, so we're gonna start here and go all the way around to here and then we'll just attach the strap. And I'm telling you, that is it. Super cute, all right. adjust my clip so my foot can go down in the right spot where I want to start. Again, I am going to stay pretty close to this edge, uh, just kind of like I did here, okay? Same, same straight stitch, same settings and everything. I'm going to do a couple of back stitches. And just carefully remove uh, my clips as I stitch around. 
take it nice and slow the first time you do this so until you get comfortable working with faux leather. If you need to pivot a little bit, you can. All right, I got to my other end. I did a couple back stitches and I'm done sewing this up. So now I'm back over here. I'm just going to trim my threads. And take these extra clips off. And here we go. It is all sewn together. It looks super cute. I love it. It did get a little off right here. What you can do is take your scissors and trim that and get a nice clean edge. I would recommend using some fabric scissors. That's why I'm not going to do it with these little ones. Um, but you can even up that edge with some fabric scissors right there. Now the next part is to attach the strap. As I mentioned, there's a couple of ways to do it. We can use snaps, which is how I'm going to show you today. You can use a, a clasp with a D-ring. And if you do that, you'll attach a D-ring and have to stitch it right here and do the same with the clasp. And then they'll come together, okay, which is in the instruction step by step. But today I'm going to do a quick snap and just show you how easy this is. I like to go ahead and put it through here. And I have some snaps right over here, I think. Yes, yes, I do. Just went with a white snap. So you need a front and a back. All right. And you just center it and push it through the fabric. If you can't get it through the faux leather the first time or right away, you can use a stiletto or something like that. And when you get snaps, they come in like a little kit. You're gonna need this little tool right here to press the snaps together. And just clamp it just like that. And we're gonna do the other side. This time, this side's gonna go through the back. I have to kind of figure out where I line it up and then I push it through. There we go. And now they will snap together and your luggage tag is ready to go. Easy as that. This will still slide right out. You can slide your little info sheet down in here and then put this right back through. Now, if you um, have a very narrow handle or you're putting this on like a strap for a backpack, you can actually run this through here twice, like put it on your backpack and then run it through here twice so it's not as loose and doesn't hang down as far. And then you can snap it. So both sides will go through like that. But easy peasy, how fun is that? We just made this whole project in like 30 seconds. That's what I love about this project because it turns out so cute, like store-bought luggage tag, but you personalized it and made it. And I've made so many of these. Uh, my fiance has one on his army bag and it's in camo, um, which he loves it because all of their bags, when he goes to army drill and stuff, they all look the same. Um, so that way he can find his very easily. But yeah, I hope you all love this quick little project. It's perfect for getting ready to travel for the holidays so you don't lose things, but also great for kids at school. I have one of these on my backpack for work. When I go to the office, it's my computer bag. So I keep one of these on there as well. Um, uh, let me check. Do we have any questions? I don't see anything. Awesome. All right, guys. So remember, you need a non-stick foot. They are currently 25% off. Um, the heavy duty 6800C, which I sewed on today, is currently $140 off. $140. Like, that's insane. Uh, and these are all over on singer.com. These are the U.S. prices. So check your local if you're outside of the U.S. And then I don't know if you noticed the dress form back here. I think it adds a fun pop of red <laughs> for the holidays. 
I use my dress form all the time and we have two, the red one and the gray one and both sizes are currently $70 off. So this is a great time to think about who you're gifting stuff to, the sewist in your life, or maybe something that you want to add to your wish list and you need to give someone a little, a few hints <laughs> for your holiday wish list this year. Um, oh, you, oh, thank you. Eileen just said, hi again. I just want to thank you for the recommendation on the Bob and Winder. It's a game changer. Yes. So if you're not aware, and I don't have it sitting in here with me right now, I'm sorry, but we have a Bob and Winder. Um, so when you're in the middle of a project and you need to replace your bobbin, you don't have to unthread your whole machine, take the spool off. You can pre-wind bobbins on that or have extra spools of that thread to wind bobbins as you sew. And it's so nice to be able to pre-wind everything and not have to change your whole machine up. So yes, they come very, very handy. I'm so glad you're loving it, Eileen. Thank you for sharing that. Well, guys, I am going to give you a little sneak peek at what our project's going to be next month. And it's these little adorable bottle bags. These little bottle bags are a fun way to decorate your bottles in your own home or if you're giving a gift at a holiday party or to some friends and family. Um, this is a fun way to dress up that gift without having to go out and buy a store-bought bag. You can just make one with some fleece. And we add fun little cuffs and everything. And let me tell you, this whole project is made on a serger. That's right, the entire project is made on a serger. Um, so if you are wanting to learn more about sergers or feel more comfortable using your serger and not ready to get into garment sewing, which is what a lot of people use them for, um, this project is for you because we do the whole thing on the serger. So I'm excited to share this one for you. Um, we're going to have a lot of fun with it. This one right here, I even did a fun decorative stitch on the serger. It's called flat locking to give it some like candy stripes. Um, so these are super cute. And that's going to be a project next month. It's another super fun, quick one if you need a last minute gift um, or gift wrapping option. So I can't wait to see you all next month. Again, be sure to go on our website, singer.com, and check out our projects every month. They're free. Um, I hope you love them. And until next time, bye. See you later.